If you're applying for data analyst or finance roles, there's one underrated skill that can instantly boost your resume, and that's SQL for financial modeling. In this video, I will show you five advanced SQL queries used in real-world finance teams for tasks like revenue forecasting, expense breakdowns, monthly growth rates, profit margin analysis, and budget versus actual tracking. You will learn how to apply SQL to clean, aggregate, and analyze financial data, just like investment firms and SaaS companies do. Whether you are a student, job seeker, or working professional, this is a job-ready SQL project you can probably show in interviews and on LinkedIn. Tools we will use. PostgreSQL for database, sample financial dataset, and SQL scripts for analysis. And yes, I will give you a free downloadable template with all queries and tables. Let's get started with what this dataset looks like and how we will structure it. Let's walk through the financial dataset we will be using. It's designed to reflect a simplified version of what you would find in a SaaS company's accounting system. We have a table called financials with the following columns, date, account, department, amount, region, date, the transaction date, account, the type of entry, revenue, COGS, operating expense, etc. Department, which team it belongs to, sales, marketing, support, amount, positive for income, negative for expenses, region, optional filter for geographic analysis. Example, 2024 first February revenue sales, we have 125,000 US dollars. We will use this dataset to run advanced queries that simulate real financial analysis, revenue prints across months, COGS and gross margin, departmental expense breakdown, forecast versus actual reporting, profit margin, and performance by region. This is exactly the type of data structure used in FP and AMP, a team's VC-backed startups and accounting dashboards. So if you learn this well, it's job ready. Now let's jump into creating this table and populating it with sample records. Now let's create the financials table in PostgreSQL and insert some sample data to get started. So create table financials, open the parenthesis, date, date data type, account column, text data type, department column, text data type, amount column, numeric data type, region column, text data type. So I'm creating this particular table. Create table financials, execute. This schema is simple but powerful. It allows us to store revenue and cost items under account, functional categorizations under department, multi-region or consolidated financials. Let's insert a few sample records. Insert into financials, values. These five entries simulate a real company's multi-region financial entry with income and expenses by department. Once your table is ready, you can extend it with weekly or monthly data or link it to a visualization tool like Power BI or Tableau later. In the next section, we will start writing advanced SQL queries to extract financial insights, just like analysts do. Let's start with our first advanced SQL query, analyzing monthly revenue trends. This is a key metric for any SaaS company or finance team. It shows how income changes month over month. Month revenue by region. Select date trunk, month comma date as month name, Region sum of amount as total revenue from financial stable, condition where account is equal to revenue, group by month region, order by month and region. So let's understand the breakdown. Date trunk, month comma date, groups transactions by month, where account equal to revenue filters only income line. Grouping by region lets us compare US versus EU performance side by side. You can now easily see which region performed better and whether revenue is trending up or down over time. Resume tip. Mentioning monthly revenue SQL analysis with group, buy, and date trunk on your resume or in an interview shows you know real-world metrics, not just select asterisk basics. In the next section, we will go deeper by calculating gross profit and margin using both revenue and COGS. Now let's move to our second advanced query, calculating gross profit and gross margin. 
This is one of the most common interview tasks for finance and analyst roles. Revenue and COGS per month. Select date trunk. Month comma date as month name. Sum of case when account equal to revenue, then amount L0 as revenue. Sum of case when account equal to COGS, then amount L0 end as COGS. From financials table, group by month and order by month. Step two, we will add gross profit and margin. So select date trunk, month comma date as month, sum of case when account equal to revenue, then amount L0 as revenue, when amount equal to COGS, then as COGS. Sum of case when A account equal to revenue, then amount L0, minus sum of case when account equal to COGS, then end as gross profit. Round sum of case when account equal to revenue, then amount L0, minus sum of case when account equal to COGS, then amount L0 end. Multiply by 100 null if. Sum case when account equal to revenue, then amount L0, end comma zero. As gross profit from financials table, group by month and order by month. So this query gives you gross profit equal to revenue minus COGS, gross margin percent, gross profit by revenue into 100. So this logic is a must have in any FP and a dashboard or SaaS startup metrics report. Pro tip, mentioning SQL margin calculations using case plus null if in your resume shows employers that you understand profitability, not just query syntax. Next up, we will look at how analyze expenses by department and find performance bottleneck. Let's now analyze one of the most useful breakdowns in finance, expenses by department. This helps stakeholders understand where money is being spent and which departments might be over or under budget. So expense by department and month, select date trunk, month comma date, department column, ABS sum of amount as total expense from financials table where account equal to operating expense, group by month comma department, order by month comma department. So break down where account equal to operating E, expense ensures we only capture EPK line. ABS sum of amount turns the negative expense values into positive totals. Grouping by both month and department gives a full view of who spent what. This helps answer questions like, how much did marketing spend last month? Is the support team's expense trend going up? Can we detect spikes in certain cost centers? Resume tip, use this as a portfolio project. Build SQL report to analyze operating expense by department over time. Congratulations, you have just completed a full financial modeling project using SQL. Let's quickly recap what you have learned. Writing monthly revenue trend queries using date trunk and group by calculating gross profit and margin with case plus null with logic, breaking down expenses by department and month all based on a real-world data set that what finance teams actually use. Why this matters, you now have a practical SQL project that's interview ready, resume worthy, and instantly valuable for roles in F, financial planning and analysis, business intelligence, financial data analyst positions. What you should do next, add this to your resume under projects or certifications. Mention key skills, date trunk, case when, Financial KPI calculations. Show it on LinkedIn. Hiring managers love real world projects. Bonus for you, download the full SQL plus data set I used in this video, which includes PostgreSQL table script, all advanced queries from this session, a Power BI financial dashboard base file. Link is in the description completely free. Wanna go on one step further? Watch our next video, build a financial dashboard with Power BI using SQL data. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you found this helpful. See you in the next project. Thank you for choosing KnowHow Academy as your source for IT knowledge. We are always here to help you to navigate the tech world. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. Stay curious and keep learning.